Hey everybody, today is Sunday, November 27th, 2022, and we're here in Bally, Pennsylvania at the Bally Mennonite Church, though we're not actually here for church, even though it is Sunday, the day, the day of church, the day of rest, that's not the reason why we are here, though Jesus brings hope. Also, not the reason why we are here. The reason why we're here is because I want to show you guys something pretty interesting that you may have just seen sort of in the background, something that I've driven past many many times before because right down the road is a flea market jake's flea market i go to all the time and then down that way is fancy's flea market another flea market i'm continuously going to so this little stretch of road here i'm constantly driving up and down nearly every single weekend and every single weekend i drive past these and i thought one day i've got to pull over and check these out show them to you guys because they're really interesting and they definitely need some upkeep because now they kind of don't look like what they're supposed to look like. A couple of a weeks ago, or I should say, but I guess at this point, a month ago, these seem to make a lot more sense being out here because it was the Halloween season and seeing them flapping around, blowing in the wind, definitely looked appropriate for the Halloween season. Now, maybe not so much. Now it would be appropriate actually with, with Christmas coming up. These would be very appropriate, but they need a bit of an upkeep. They, they need some work done to them. So I'm going to call these the Ghosts of Bali. Check these out. No, they are not actually ghosts. These are angels, as I'm sure you could probably tell. They do have wings. They do have halos. This one here is actually holding a candle. Looks like at one point, these actually used to light up. I've never seen these lit up, but this one has a, like a C9 bulb in there. And then the halo is actually... Is actually lights, Christmas lights. So I guess at one point these actually used to light up. I've never seen these lit up, however. Lots of upkeep is actually needed for these. But right now, I honestly think they look more like creepy ghosts. When I drive past these, I think I, I don't I don't think angel, I think creepy ghosts. In fact, I was driving past these with my friend the other day, and I pointed out, hey, one of these days I gotta go over there and film a retro rest stop video for these. And he goes, oh, those ghosts, right? I'm like, they're not ghosts, they're actually angels. So he thought they were ghosts as well. Probably old Halloween decorations is what he thought. It's actually very cold out today. Can you see my breath? Maybe, I don't know. I'm shaking a little bit. If the camera's shaky, I apologize. It's pretty chilly yet. It's actually um, going to rain any minute now. I'm hoping to get this video done before it rains. But look at these things. Look at the like tablecloth. I'm guessing that's like a, like a sheer tablecloth. These are actually really well done. They're really cool. They're made out of like welded metal. These are actually really, really neat. You can see behind them here. There you go, you can get an idea of what they look like. I mean, it's pretty simple. They're just these wire frames. The little like head put on them. What's the head made of? I have no idea. It looks, it looks like some kind of, oh, I think it's actually like a globe for a, um, for like your front post, like a, like a front light post in your house. It looks like a globe. And then they just put a, a piece of cloth around it. And you've got the wings here. They're just more welded metal. So very, very simple construction to make these. This one here is obviously just much larger. This one actually has chicken wire around the bottom of it. You can see the, the wires inside. It is a shame these no longer light up. It is a shame these are falling apart. It is a shame they haven't really kept up with these. I would love to see these restored someday. It'd be so cool if the Mennonite Church, the Bally Mennonite Church would come out here, which is right right here. I think they're actually holding service right now. Maybe they can, maybe they can see and hear me right now. I have no idea, but they're, they're holding service right now inside the church, or at least they were anyway. I'm not sure what time is it now. It's like 10 o'clock in the, or 10 o'clock in the morning. They still, are they still doing service at 10 o'clock? I have no idea, but if you're watching that night church, come out here, fix these up. They're pretty cool looking. I like these things. I would love to see them again, fixed up, looking more like actual angels than terrifying ghosts, especially when blowing in the wind. These are just too cool. Look at that. I feel like that should be, there we go. As you can see, they're all, they're all tattered up. They're all falling apart. So have you ever driven past these? Have you ever been to Bally, Pennsylvania? If you have, and you've driven past these angels, what have you thought of them? Did you think, oh my gosh, look at the cool angels. Or did you actually think, are they, are they ghosts? I've driven past these enough times that I've seen them over the years start to, start to deteriorate. So I knew for a long time these absolutely were 
angels. But I can see somebody driving past now who hasn't actually seen these before. Somebody who isn't familiar with these, thinking they are totally ghosts. They're pretty awesome looking though. I love this kind of stuff, this sort of DIY construction. The fact that the church was like, let's make some angels. Let's put three angels out on our hill so people coming up and down the road can see these. The fact that this one actually used to light up, that is so cool with the, the candle in its hand and the halo of Christmas lights. These are just, again, really, really neat. The hands here, these are actually just made out of PVC piping you'd use for, for, uh, for plumbing. That is interesting. So again, DIY church construction and done extremely well. These are really cool looking. It's a creepy dog barking off in the, in the background. Just makes these even creepier. The, howl, the howling hounds with the, with the bally ghosts. I'm loving these. So like I said, DIY construction, pretty awesome, pretty amazing. The Bally Mennonite Church, if you're watching, get out here, fix these up, put some new, some new robes on these. They're all tattered, they're all extremely moldy. These have been sitting on the elements for years now, and the elements are definitely taking their toll on these. Looks like the wings, actually, I'm, just, I'm noticing now, the wings on these used to light up as well. Look at that. That is awesome. So this one was really lit up, again, with the the candle in front, the halo that lights up, and apparently the wings also were outlined in rope lights. That is so cool. I wanna see these back in their glory. I wanna drive past these someday. I wanna be coming down the road one night, drive past these and see this completely lit up. These looking nice and fresh, new robes, new, new sheets. That would be so cool, that'd be awesome. Maybe, I mean, it's, again, it's the Christmas season. Christmas is upon us at this point. Thanksgiving is over. Christmas is coming up. We have like, what, two, three, something more days. I don't even know how many, how many days are in November. We only have a couple more days until December starts. I think it'd be really neat to give these a refresh for the Christmas season. Have this lit up once again. Which means I guess they must have ran a, did they run an extension cord like all the way down through this lawn? I highly doubt they... They dug a trench. They must have just run a really long extension cord all the way to the church, which, I mean, I guess if they're only lighting it up for the for the Christmas season, maybe, that's not so bad, because obviously you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want that extension cord out here when they're trying to mow. They'd have to remember to take that down. Maybe that's maybe that's what happened. Maybe, maybe they were, they had the extension cord running and they went to mow and they forgot about the extension cord and they ran it over and destroyed it and then they couldn't light this up anymore and they just kind of gave up on these. I don't know, maybe, who knows? But again, if these could be, redone and relit up for the holiday season that'd be awesome because right now i'm calling them the bally ghosts because they look a lot more like ghosts right now than they actually do angels at least i think what do you think ghosts angels maybe just creepy looking angels they're just again with the tatteredness of them they kind of come off as a little creepy to me but i love them those are too cool, but all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I got some thrifting to do. Actually, that's what I'm doing right now. I didn't go to Jake's this morning. Jake's was apparently, Jake's flea market was apparently dead. There was nobody there because, um, well, the weather's kind of crappy. It's very cold. It's gloomy. It's gonna rain. So nobody's set up there, but I'm heading to Fancy Flea Market, which is actually an indoor flea market. Gonna do some thrifting there with a friend. But I figured since I'm driving past these, these will make a great retro rest stop video. Had to show these off to you guys. So, all right, gonna get, gonna get going. Gotta go do some thrifting. If you guys actually want to see my adventures thrifting at Fancy Slea Market, at the video game movie dome that's at Fancy Slea Market, you can definitely head over to my other channel, Cinema Sickness, which is a daily thrifting channel. I have two channels. I have this one where we take a look at just interesting roadside things every single day and other fun adventures and updates on my life and other, just anything and everything I want to film every single day. And then my other channel, Cinema Sickness, where I do daily thrifting videos at flea markets, pawn shops, thrift stores, stuff like that. Check that out. But all right, guys. I'm gonna let you go. So the Bally Ghosts, AKA the Bally, well, should be the Bally Angels, AKA the Bally Ghosts, here in Bally, Pennsylvania, at the Bally Mennonite Church. Pretty awesome, pretty cool, but all right, I'm gonna let you go. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you guys can pick up retro rest stop t-shirts proceeds both from spreadshirt and from patreon do get to help putting gas in vanabelle or in this case inside pumpkin pump pump where's pumpkin pump 
pumpkin. There she is, inside pumpkin. So we can come out to interesting places like this. I can show you cool DIY roadside attractions like, like these angels slash ghosts. Too cool, too awesome. I'm loving it, I love this kind of stuff. I'm a nerd for roadside attractions, especially DIY ones, these are too cool. But fix them up, Bally, Mennonite Church, fix them up. Make them look pretty again. I wanna see them lit up, I wanna see them redressed. I wanna see these angels in all of their glory and if you do that, I will come back out here. I promise you, Bally, I will come back out here and I will shoot a video, an updated video of these looking nice and pretty if you guys do ever get around to fixing them up and giving them the refresh they deserve. But all right, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys do subscribe or you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.